Hello there and welcome to Evening Prayer for this Friday the 11th of March 2022. Today is another Ember Day. The term Ember Days refers to three days set apart for fasting, abstinence and prayer during each of the four seasons of the year. The purpose of their introduction was to thank God for the gifts of nature, to teach folk to make use of them in moderation and to help the needy. So let's now join together with our evening prayer worship. O oh God, make speed to save us. O oh Lord, make haste to help us. Hear our voice, O oh Lord, according to your faithful love. According to your judgment, give us life. Blessed are you, Lord God of our salvation. To you be glory and praise forever. In the darkness of our sin, you have shone in our hearts to give the light of the knowledge of the glory of God in the face of Jesus Christ. Open our eyes to acknowledge your presence, that freed from the misery of sin and shame, we may grow into your likeness from glory to glory. Blessed be God, Father, Son and Holy Spirit. Blessed be God forever. That this evening may be holy, good and peaceful, let us pray with one heart and mind. As our evening prayer rises before you, O God, so may your mercy come down upon us to cleanse our hearts and set us free to sing your praise, now and forever. Amen. Our first psalm this evening is Psalm 54. Save me, O God, by your name, and vindicate me by your power. Hear my prayer, O God, give heed to the words of my mouth. For strangers have risen up against me, and the ruthless seek after my life. They have not set God before them. Behold, God is my helper. It is the Lord who upholds my life. May evil rebound on those who lie in wait for me. Destroy them in their faithfulness. An offering of a free heart will I give you, and praise your name, O Lord, for it is gracious. For he has delivered me out of all my trouble, and my eye has seen the downfall of my enemies. Psalm 55 Hear my prayer, O God. Hide not yourself from my petition. Give heed to me and answer me. I am restless in my complaining. I am alarmed at the voice of the enemy and at the clamour of the wicked, for they would bring down evil upon me and set against me in fury. My heart is disquieted within me and the terrors of death have fallen upon me. Fearfulness and trembling are come upon me and a horrible dread has overwhelmed me. And I said, oh, that I had wings like a dove but then I would fly away and be at rest. Then would I flee far away and make my lodging in the wilderness. I would make haste to escape from the stormy wind and tempest. Confuse their tongues, O Lord, and divide them, for I have seen violence and strife in the city. Day and night they go about on their her walls. Mischief and trouble are in her mists. Wickedness walks in her streets. Oppression and guile never leaves her squares. For it was not an open enemy that reviled me, for then I could have borne it. Nor was it my adversary that puffed himself up against me, for then I would have hid myself from him. But it was even you, one like myself, my companion and my own familiar friend. We took sweet counsel together and walked with the multitude in the house of God. Let death come suddenly upon them. Let them go down alive to the pit, for wickedness inhabits their dwellings, their very hearts. As for me, I will call upon God, and the Lord will deliver me. In the evening and morning and at noonday, I will pray and make my supplication, and he shall hear my voice. He shall redeem my soul in peace from the battle waged against me, for many have come upon me. 
God who is enthroned of old will hear and bring them down. They will not repent for they have no fear of God. My companion stretched out his hands against his friend and has broken his covenant. His speech was softer than butter, though war was in his heart. His words were smoother than oil, yet are they naked swords. Cast your burden upon the Lord and he will sustain you and will not let the righteous fall forever. But those that are bloodthirsty and deceitful, O God, you will bring down to the pit of destruction. They shall not live out half their days, but my trust shall be in you, O Lord. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. Our reading this evening is from John chapter 6, beginning at the 16th verse. When evening came, his disciples went down to the lake, got into a boat, and started across the lake to Capernaum. It was now dark, and Jesus had not yet come to them. The lake became rough because a strong wind was blowing. When they had rowed about three or four miles, they saw Jesus walking on the lake and coming near the boat, and they were terrified. But he said to them, It is I, do not be afraid. Then they wanted to take him into the boat, and immediately the boat reached the land towards which they were going. The next day the crowd that had strayed on the other side of the lake saw that there had been only one boat there. They also saw that Jesus had not got into the boat with his disciples, but that his disciples had gone away alone. Then some boats from Tiberias came near the place where they had eaten the bread after the Lord had given thanks. So when the crowd saw that neither Jesus nor his disciples were there, they themselves got into boats and went to Capernaum looking for Jesus. When they found him on the other side of the lake, they said to him, Rabbi, when did you come here? Jesus answered them, Very truly I tell you, you are looking for me, not because you saw signs, but because you ate your fill of the loaves. Do not work for the food that perishes, but for the, work, for the food that endures for eternal life which the Son of Man will give you. For it is on him that God the Father has set his seal. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Forsake me not, O Lord. Be not far from me, O my God. Forsake me not, O Lord. Be not far from me, O my God. Make haste to help me, O Lord of my salvation. Be not far from me, O my God. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Forsake me not, O Lord. Be not far from me, O my God. So we come to our canticle, the Magnificat. Come, let us return to the Lord, for our God will richly pardon. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God, my Saviour. He has looked with favour on his lowly servant. From this day, all generations will call me blessed. The Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. He has mercy on those who fear him from generation to generation. He has shown strength with his arm and has scattered the proud in their conceit, casting down the mighty from their thrones and lifting up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things and sent the rich away empty. He has come to the aid of his servant Israel to remember his promise of mercy, the promise made to our ancestors, to Abraham and his children forever. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be forever. Amen. Come, let us return to the Lord, for our God will richly pardon. And so we come to our time of prayer. Let us pray. Mighty God, you spoke to your servant Abram, telling him not to be afraid. Help us in our times of fear and worry, and constantly remind us of the reward of everlasting life that we can expect 
through faith in your Son, Jesus Christ. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Loving God, we pray for the people of Ukraine, for all those suffering or afraid, that you will be close to them and protect them. We pray for world leaders, for compassion, strength and wisdom to guide their choices. We pray for the world that in this moment of crisis, we may reach out in solidarity to our brothers and sisters in need. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Creator God, we thank you for all the wonders of the world which belongs to you, but was given into our care at the beginning of time. Help us to be good stewards, always mindful of the tragic consequences of our lack of care. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Father God, the psalmist tell us to seek your face in the people who live, we live amongst. May they too, as they look upon us, see something of you and of your Son Jesus Christ shining from us. Make us always a beacon of faith as we live the gospel out in all our words and actions. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Merciful God, we raise before you those we know and love who are ill, sad or in need. We pray for all who care for them at home or in hospital. And Father, we pray for those who have died, especially those who have died recently or whose anniversary occurs at this time, and for all who mourn their passing. And in a moment of silence, we bring before you all those on our hearts at this time. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Loving God, as we head into the weekend, Help us to resist temptation, remembering that your son was tempted by the world and the devil, but chose faithfulness over popularity, service above fame, and sacrifice instead of power. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Almighty God, whose son Jesus Christ fasted 40 days in the wilderness and was tempted as we are, yet without sin, Give us grace to discipline ourselves in obedience to your spirit. And as you know our weakness, so may we know your power to save. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. And trusting in God, the compassion of God, as our Saviour taught us, so we pray. Our Father in heaven, Hallowed be your name, your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread, forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. May God, our Redeemer, show us compassion and love. Amen. Let's bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Thank you for joining me this evening. Tomorrow Richard will be with you. And also, there's a special service at Worcester Cathedral tomorrow evening at 5.30, where Paul Lawler and others will be installed as honorary canons of the cathedral. The service is open to all, so do come along and celebrate with us if you can. On Sunday, we will have services in person at all of our churches, and the 9.30 service on Sunday morning at St Stephen's will be live streamed on our YouTube channel. Have a lovely weekend. God bless you, and good night. <laughs>